So I woke up to this, a little bit foggy. Yeah, there's, there's a Lowe's way over there. <laughs> I think I'll wait a little bit, see if it burns off. Yeah, so I was waiting for the fog to burn off. I guess it did on the other side of the river, or whatever this is, I can't see it. Oh well. Biloxi, Mississippi, and I've been driving for miles and miles and miles along this beach that's over that way. And I have only seen one spot for people to park. I've seen benches, I've seen trash barrels, all kinds of stuff, but no place for people to park and enjoy that. Boggles the mind. Mississippi coast. Biloxi is just behind me and since before Biloxi I've been driving along this beautiful sandy beach. That now of course gone away. That was the second third place I've seen to park to enjoy that beach. Makes no sense to me. I mean, I was driving by that thing for a half an hour. <laughs> a lot of beach. Okay, so I've been driving along this beautiful beach, haven't been able to see the water uh, at all, and like, I've been driving 45 minutes along this beach, um, and finally the fog burned off, and I decided I'd, I found some parking spots finally, uh, so I did a U-turn, pull over next to the beach, I'm pulling in about 10 amps, it's gone up to like 11. Um, Let's see, if I unplug the refrigerator, what happens? It goes up to, yeah, about 11, so the refrigerator is just maintaining. Uh, but, let me show you this beach that I've been talking about. Seeing how you couldn't really see it through the fog. This is miles and miles and miles of beach. You can't even see Biloxi. It's so far that way. So I'm thinking, I usually try to get to where I want to stay for the night. Uh, by noon, it's a little afternoon right now. And I think it's a good day to spend at the beach. Get the cat out, let her go for a walk a little bit. And uh, I'll tell you this, this whole strip, I don't know if you can see it, but over there, I mean, there's houses, but then there's nothing. Then there's a big house, then there's nothing. Uh, uh, this area got hit really hard with Katrina and it wiped out a lot of places. Um, so, you want some uh, Gulf Coast property, I don't know what it's going for. There's a lot of it down here. All right, let's, let's go have some fun on the beach. Come on, Cammie.
So, Cammy, what do you think of the ocean? Hey, back to the bus, huh? <laughs> he doesn't like all that water. Hey, YouTube. So, I'm headed to Sliddale. It was just north of uh, New Orleans. Um, there was a like four, at least four tornadoes that touched down around New Orleans yesterday. I um, mean, I caught the edge of it with the rain that uh, I'll show you here. And uh, so I'm traveling through, basically, I was just barely into Mississippi, and I'm traveling through all of Mississippi along the coast. And I've been driving along, you can see behind me this huge beach, and way off in the distance is Biloxi. I came past that. Um, it was foggy this morning, and as you can see from the uh, some of the video here in the beginning, and uh, but the fog burned off, and rather than keep going and pass these, I don't know, I have no idea how many miles, but I was driving along for about 45 minutes at about 45 miles an hour, and only one short spot once I got out of Biloxi, or Biloxi, uh, only one short spot didn't have um, beach. I don't know, parking spots, but beach. So uh, I decided I'd pull over instead of keep going and uh, enjoy a little sand and sunshine. And uh, get a lot, you know, so nice day at the beach, or at least uh, part of a day, some sort of terrain outlet here. Um, so I'm just going to kick back and relax, being a pasty uh, white guy with red hair, I'm not going to sit out in the sun, because um, I guarantee you in about 15 minutes, that would be just one great big giant blister. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to just enjoy a nice day here. Maybe I can find my sunblock. Hmm. Anyway, so a little bit from uh, a little more video here. So the uh, nice, hardly any current coming in or any waves coming in. I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, water's a little on the cool side, but I've swum in a lot colder water up in the mountains, and uh, so it's just nice. That lady and her dog were the only only people I see on this beach. Uh, and as you can tell by the dog running, it's shallow. You can go out quite a ways. So I can imagine when the hurricane came through and Katrina came through, the storm surge coming up over the shallow, it's amazing to me that these houses are still here. Where down there, there's you can see great big empty spots. There's slabs where the houses used to be. Uh, a couple, one big parking lot where there's no building with it. Uh, so I would think, I didn't see any no trespassing signs in the par big parking lot, uh, some other places. So it might not be uh, a bad spot to boondock. I mean, right across a, a four lane, it's not all that busy from, uh, from this beach. So, I'll, uh, 
on my map. I'll put a, uh, a spot for this. This is a uh, city, I think, a Long Beach, Mississippi. So at least I saw a sign back that way a little ways that said Long Beach. So. Now I did see way down that way uh, them out with a couple of different kinds of big equipment grooming the beach. That's why there's tracks. And uh, but a little bit of litter is here, just tiny little pieces. So I'm guessing that the the state or the counties maintain this. Uh, just too bad they didn't have more parking. I'm Steve. This is my furry overlord, Cammy, and uh, we're traveling around the country, checking out things, uh, looking for those places that most people just sort of miss or never heard of. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors about it, and uh, if you want to make a contribution, there's a button up there on my homepage, and uh, for every, as long as they last, every five dollars you. Uh, Send, I'll send you a couple of stickers. So.